Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Amherst Bench. Today we're speaking to Richard Fisher, who runs the Vickers Gun Collection. Hi Richard. Hi, yeah. Hi Matt. Um, so we're just basically going to do a short interview, and Richard's going to tell us about his collection, and then I guess we'll see how it goes. So, how did the collection get started? So, this is about 25 years worth of collecting now. I bought my first Vickers when I was 12. Yeah. And it was because my grandfather was a Vickers machine gunner in the Second World War. Oh, right. So he went to the Royal Marines Museum at Portsmouth with me back in 1994. And we sat there looking around the, or walked around the museum. And he sat there behind the Vickers and took it apart. And I was mesmerised by oh, yeah. it. Um, and thankfully for the security guard, he put it back together again as well. Yeah. So that got me absolutely hooked on the Vickers. So he was with the Machine Gun Corps? Uh, with the Cheshire Regiment. Oh right, so, so he yeah. was in before the Machine Gun Corps? No, in the Second World War. Uh, oh sorry, yeah. Yeah, in the Second World War we've got the Machine Gun Battalions, of which the Cheshires were one of those. Ah, right. And he ended up joining the Cheshire Regiment completely right. randomly. Mm. From Wiltshire. From Wiltshire, yeah. To Cheshire. Yeah. Oh, wow. um, so, basically you have a representative collection of Vickers guns. Where did you start with this? I mean, you obviously had that link to your grandfather, and then you basically jumped into collecting, or did you really want to go for the Vickers from the beginning? No, so I'd been collecting uh, stuff to do with the family, really. So mm -hmm. Wilshire Regiment, Wilshire yeah. Yeomanry, and then generally anything green. You know, I was sort of 10 to 15 years old, interested yeah. in military stuff. And over time, realised that I was quite good at the Vickers related stuff, I understood it, I got it, and I was managing to find it places. Mm -hmm. So I narrowed down the collection actually to just Vickers, right. and over the years managed to sell off a few bits that meant I could afford to buy more and more Vickers machine gun related stuff. Right. So um, when you when you decided to focus in on the Vickers, where did you start? Did you did you buy a Vickers uh, and then decide? Oh, I want to do the 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 accoutrements, the accessories that come with it and everything like that? Um, I did a little bit. I tried to get a sort of the uniforms and the personal weapons to go with a Vickers machine gun team, so mm. four guys in the Second World War, and really built out from there and then thought, oh, okay, I've got a Second World War gun. I'd really like a First World War related yeah. gun now, and then built out from there. Mm -hmm. And then it became, I was offered some more Vickers machine gun related stuff, just thought, oh, okay, wait a minute, now I'm talking like a sections equipment, um, what comes with it, armourers stuff, uh, all the fire control bits and pieces. So it's one of those quite organic, growing yeah. kind of collections, constantly growing. So what's the, the aim of the project in general? So the, it's set up as a not-for-profit mm -hmm. association, Vickers MG Collection and Research Association, and the object of that is to educate the public, so all those people that have a vague interest in the Vickers, yeah. that one of the things is it's not just a machine gun people sat behind and fired, but they had to understand mm -hmm. not the mechanics of it, the fire control, how you get it there, so yeah. Yeah, how you transport the logistics, yeah, yeah. how you transport a Vickers, four guys, five thousand rounds of ammunition, um, and yeah, and the water, loads of water yeah. for fire and sustain fire all the time. Mm -hmm. What it could do. Uh, so you've recently moved the collection and yep. you've set it up in um, in situ and you've got these great displays behind uh, behind us here. Was that, was that a big job? I'm suspecting that was a big job. It was a big job. So yeah. six guys, six of my mates came down um, and helped move that over one weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, but getting the building prepared, getting it ready and then really tinkering constantly since June uh, to, to be able to do that. So three, three months yeah. now getting it ready to be able to turn around and go, you know what, if somebody wants to come and visit, they can come and visit now. People can come in and take a look. Yeah, yeah. So, so how many how many Vickers do you actually have? Uh, I think there's 15 in the 15. room at the moment. So yeah. So you've got the water cooled and you've got the Vickers BFA yeah. and the other light Vickers as well. That's right, yeah. yeah. Um, so I have to ask, out of all of them, which is your favorite? Um, the question everyone hates. It is, and it is really difficult, uh, but Probably those this, these really early guns. Mm -hmm. So the, you know, we've got March and May 1915 here, and I think the fact that they are marked up with Australian markings from the Second World War show that they were in use for yeah. so long. And yeah, the, 
they're just great examples of something that stayed in service constantly and came out of uh, India and Pakistan in the late 90s as well. So you also have some non-British and Commonwealth because as well you have some um, uh, commercial export models. Is that yeah, right? that's right. So they were made by Australia um, as well. So there's a couple of Australian guns in the collection, mm -hmm. and then there well, Vic was sold to everybody around the world in the 30s. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, Netherlands East Indies model, so which is now Indonesia, and a Chilean uh, version as well. Mm -hmm. So in 6.5 mil, 7 mil, yeah. all of those different calibers. Oh, cool. So, what's the aim of the project going forward? You're hoping to have more people come and have a look at the collection and maybe take it out on some shows? Yeah, so taking, um, trying to get a whole platoon of Vickers guns out to a show every oh, couple wow. of years, yeah. um, which we, we do, and you know, there's a fair few, fair few guys that come and help um, do those displays. Mm -hmm. But the overall aim is really just to uh, continue to grow and expand it and to share it more with people as well. So, there's the website, uh, there's your PDF downloads of the manuals and stuff on there. We've got the Machine Gun Corps History Project to try and nail that First World War use and just try and you know, share it with people a lot, lot more. So where can people find the website? So uh, we've got www.vickersmg.org.uk yeah. and that pretty much takes you to all of the different pages that have got there. Okay. And you've got manuals and, and photographs of accoutrements and the guns and that kind of thing on there? Yeah, all of it. So if there's something from a random part number so people can yeah. search based on that to try and find out what something looks like versus scrolling through and finding what oh okay well this must be that then uh, and it'll probably end up being a bit of a wants list for everybody because it certainly ends up as a wants list for me sometimes well that's great well uh, thank you for having us in the collection and um, we're going to take a look at some of the, the guns here and um, i hope everyone will check out richard's website and thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you again soon.